so, what we have seen is uh, lithography and the introduction to lithography is where we have uh, look, looked at uh, masks and photoregist right. Now, the, uh, the role of the mask and photoregist we have discussed in the last uh, slide uh, where we have seen that there are two types of photoregist uh, positive and negative while when you talk about mask uh, it is a bright field mask and a dark field mask. Uh, I have also shown you how what is the uh, advantage of using or what happens when you use actually uh, positive photoregist with a bright field mask and negative photoregist with bright field mask. In the case of positive photoregist the same pattern that is on the mask will get transferred to the wafer. In the negative photoregist the exactly opposite pattern will come on the wafer. Now, the reason is that because the unexposed area in case of positive photoregist uh, gets stronger while in case of negative photoregist the unexposed area will get weak. Right now, if you take about uh, bright field and dark field, how exactly the mask looks like, right? And uh, let us see how the mask looks like. And the reason of showing you the lithography in this particular uh, uh, course is that we are developing electronic, uh, uh, you know, uh, conditioning systems, uh, uh, signal conditioning systems using operational amplifier. But uh, what we are actually, uh, uh, what kind of signals we are conditioning? So the signals that comes out from the sensors and the sensors are fabricated using a microfabrication technology. That is why we are looking at the lithography uh, section. Uh, so, the, the one that I am holding you uh, in, in my hand, uh, this is uh, the bright, uh, this is a dark field mask. You can see that the patterns are transparent, right, the patterns are transparent. Let me show you the patterns here. So, these are the two patterns, right, and they are transparent, while the, uh, the area that is background is dark. And that is why this is called dark field mask, this is called dark field mask, okay. But if I talk about bright field mask, uh, you, will, you will see that bright field mask, the pattern is dark and the area is bright, right. The field is bright, field is bright and the pattern is dark. Right. So, this is the difference between bright field and dark field mask. Now, what will happen if I use positive photoregist, then the same pattern will get transferred onto the oxidized silicon wafer or whatever the substrate is. Right. If I use negative photoregist, the area which is darker right, uh, will get weaker and the area which is brighter will get stronger. In case of positive photoregist, the area which is brighter will get uh, weaker, the area which is darker will get stronger or in other terms the area that is not exposed will get stronger in positive photoregist and the area which is exposed uh, uh, will get weaker in case of positive photoregist. While in case of negative photoregist the area which is not exposed uh, uh, will be weaker and the area which is exposed will be stronger. Okay. So, this is uh, about positive negative photoresist and the mask. This is a 5 inch mask. The reason of using 5 inch mask is you can use a 4 inch substrate. Right? The substrate can be oxidized silicon wafer, it can be uh, mica sheet, it can be uh, alumina, it can be glass, uh, it can be any other polymer. All right. So, the substrate generally is on the, the material on which we are going to uh, fabricate the device. All right. Now, the, uh, the, the role of understanding this particular mask and lithography in this particular module is that we want to understand how we can de de design a strain gauge and the reason of designing a strain gauge is to understand how we can see the change in the tissue properties when it is a, uh, in case of cancer. All right. So, like I said uh, that when you do the biopsy, the, uh, the, the uh, tissue is taken out and the tissue property changes as the cancer progresses. What kind of tissue properties we are looking with the strain gauge? We are looking at the mechanical properties that is the elasticity of the tissue. Uh, uh, the example that uh, we are talking about here is also that if you have a strain gauge then you can also measure the force uh, and uh, we took an example of a catheter. Right? Uh, why we took an example of a catheter and atrial fibrillation? if you have seen the last videos that because uh, we were talking about ECG. So, ECG is a heart related, uh, so ECG is used to understand the health of a heart uh, in terms of bits per minute right. We have seen the circuit that can be used for uh, measuring bits per minute and uh, when you talk about ECG and heart the problem, uh, we, one of the problem with the heart is the uh, fibrillation and when you talk about atrial fibrillation I already discussed that the heart starts pumping unevenly because of the misfiring of signals and those misfiring of the signals are uh, need to be rectified. The only way of rectification is to burn that area and to burn 
on that area we have to go for ablation. When you go for ablation the surgeon will insert uh, the catheter and will measure the force on the heart. So, that force uh, uh, because it is at the tip of the catheter is also called is also called uh, catheter contact force and to measure that force we need to use a sensor to understand how the sensor is fabricated we are understanding the lithography right. So, that is uh, the, the gist of why we have to understand lithography. So, let us see uh, in the next uh, module uh, in the next class uh, how exactly photolithography uh, uh, process uh, is there, uh, what are the precautions that we need to take, what are the recipes that we need to understand and I will give you one example of uh, de designing a sensor using photolithography after which I will teach you how the strain gauge uh, for catheter contact force can be fabricated right. Till then you take care I will see you in the next class bye.